Steph, what does it say about this team with 21 turnovers last night in this building, but you can still win by 12? Yeah, we can obviously play better and hope to do that tomorrow. Uh, wasn't a pretty game by any stretch of imagination. Um, you know, Katie did what he did in the third, which was huge for us. JaVale <clears throat> gave us a huge effort in the first first half. Um, and we had some timely runs that kind of, you know, allowed us to build momentum. But there are things we got to clean up and want to put together a solid 48-minute effort to close the series out tomorrow. How tough is it to close this team out in their own building? I mean, it's tough because any road game is tough. <clears throat> and especially when um, a team's back is against the wall and, you know, this they're going to leave it all on the floor um, and, and probably play with a lot of pride and energy. And, and we have to withstand that and, um, you know, play Warriors basketball, like I said, for 48 minutes. If, if we play like we did, you know, yesterday, minus some uh, spectacular performances by those two guys, uh, you know, it could be a different game. We got to play better. Were you a little surprised that uh, Mike kept you on the three fouls? I'm a pretty good negotiator, so uh, <laughs> I won that one and uh, tried to do my part not to make him regret the decision at all. So um, thankfully, I didn't pick up another one. We were able to get to halftime with three and then play smarter in the second half. What's been working for you this postseason? Like specifically, do you feel it as good right now? Do you have all things? Yeah, I feel good. And obviously, the. Uh, Got a nice rhythm, a nice flow to what I'm doing, playing aggressive, um, trying to balance, you know, playmaking, scoring all my different responsibilities when I'm out there on the floor. And, uh, you know, things are going well. I just want to hopefully sustain it for uh, however long I need to. We've been talking about Clay's defense for a couple games now, and it seemed like game three was kind of that turning point where you you know, got it started defensively and then offensively. How has he taken it, Patty Mills? What kind of made him obsolete there in the backcourt and, and just their just uh, staying attached to him, you know how you know Patty can get get loose. Um, he never stops moving, and I mean he's missed some shots that he probably normally would have made, but for the most part, when Clay's been on him, he's uh, just used his length well, used his uh, footwork, feet footwork to uh, to stay attached to him um, and not give him you know any space really, whether it's coming off a pick and roll or coming off a down screen or even in you know, in broken plays, just trying to find where he is and, and Clay's taking that responsibility well and knowing that, you know, he's a huge X factor for them scoring. Um, and when I want to do that again on, on, in game four. Coach, uh, Steph, Coach just raised your weak side defense in this game. And how much of an advantage is it when you got uh, guys that are going like if KD is going, you don't have to focus as much on scoring. You can focus on other parts of the game. And last night, obviously, you praised your defense in that type of fashion. I mean, at the end of the day, I got to do it and play, do my best on both ends, regardless of who's shooting or whatever. Uh, you know, you can't take plays off. You can't, uh, no matter who you're guarding, you're always going to be involved in the play somehow, whether it's on the ball or off the ball. So just trying to, you know, like I said, lock in on, uh, on the keys to guarding, you know, whoever the matchup is, knowing their tendencies. And just being focused, man. That's really it. Focus and energy on uh, usually you know leads to you know good results on defense. Man. Last question. I don't think they got any, Raymond. Uh, 